everybody. We are back. My next guest, a very funny guy whose latest comedy CD, Jake Johansson Live, is available at jakethis.com. Please welcome Jake Johansson. My friend, boy, I am, I'm, I'm good. You're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about the show. Uh, good. Yeah. Nice to go on after the ass cream guy. <laughs> yeah, and the friend Dresher picked up a homeless guy story. And, uh... <laughs> That's what I kind of thought. I her sure... story was this guy just came along, and then suddenly, you know, it, it was strange. It didn't it was... sound healthy. It was a little bit freaky. Yeah. Well, you settle down. It's all going to be good. I, I you do just feel flew good. in to, to do this show. That's very nice of you. Well, at, I always I like to fly. Although you know, I, I didn't bring enough stuff to read, so I ended up with, at, lo looking at the uh, Sky Mall, you know, that catalog because you want to shop. Sure, yeah, yeah, it has all the cool stuff. Yeah, well, a lot of things that I don't even understand. I think they turn the oxygen down on the plane so that you'll want to buy the automatic cat box. Uh, <laughs> it's got a self-cleaning uh, thing in it. Which I've is, seen this. It's it's a real thing, right? It's a it is cat a, box that cleans itself. Yeah, and it sounds like a good idea. I mean, I had a cat, and the the litter box is not uh, the the best thing about having a cat. Although, on the other hand, it's pretty cool because I'd never had a cat growing up, and I thought you'd have to train the cat to use the litter box. You put them in there, and I'm like, okay, well, here's where you'll be using the rest of the cat's like. I got it. <laughs> Literally one time, right. was all, as opposed to a dog, you know, you could spend the dog's whole life trying to get through to him where he's supposed to go, and he's like, oh, outside, right, I, <laughs> I knew that, I totally knew that. <laughs> so, the cat, you put him in there one time, when that's the last trick they'll, they'll ever learn. You right, can't, right, right. You try throwing the ball for the cat, he's like, yeah, I, I go in the box, all right, so. <laughs> Uncovered. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, and, there, and, and that's why you get a pet. A cat for a pet because right. they're very independent. You know, you can leave. Sometimes you're going for. I, I go out of town for the whole weekend and come home, and you try and give the cat a little love, and she's like, "I'm busy over here with the imaginary things right now." <laughs> um, as opposed to now, I'm married. My my wife came with a, a dog, and the dog. You know, <laughs> that's a nice way to say it. <laughs> yeah, I bought this car, and it came with jumper cables. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Well, I, the way I look at it is um, I, I, I'm marrying my wife, and then I get a lot of free material right. along with it, in addition right. to, to this dog. And, you know, and the dog is, you leave the house for five minutes, and the dog's like, thank God you're back. I, I thought you were dead. <laughs> um, I don't know how anything works. And so, so uh, yeah, I, I, the, the cat is... Uh, the cat is not as good of a pet as a dog, in my opinion. But the the litter box thing is the thing. That's all you do with a cat is you right. change the box, you put the food out. Once you take the litter box out of it, you kind of don't even have a cat. Now there's just a jerk that lives in your house, a furry. <laughs> you know, I'm busy right now. Um, so. The cat people are not going to be happy with you. We'll get a lot of letters. The jerk that lives in your house. <laughs> well, now uh, did you find anything that you would want to buy in the catalog? Anything at all? I didn't really find anything that I wanted to buy, but I did, I, you know, it gets you thinking about ideas and, and, and I, I feel like I've got some quality ideas now, not necessarily for products, but this whole uh, Middle Eastern situation, I feel like I've got a handle on that. Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> you know, that's, no, I know. Well, that's I can great. go a lot of different ways. Yeah. Um, so the, the way I look at it is something's wrong with the roadmap, first of all, to peace. The roadmap we, to we peace, may have yeah. it upside down. Right. Because um, it seems like we're going the wrong way with the bombing and the rocketing. So my plan <laughs> is uh, we got to get the Palestinians out of there. That's really the problem. They need some place to go. Here's what I'm thinking. France. <laughs> You want to send the Palestinians to France. Exactly. We get them out of the situation. We get a security deposit from them for France because um, the Palestinians can be a little hard on their turf. Um, <laughs> so we send them to France, and then we send the French people to Israel because uh, that's a good match. The Israelis uh, are very tough, and they love to fight, and uh, the French enjoy surrendering. <laughs> um, so you'll you feel like you get them together. Yeah. This, you've electrified people with this idea. I know. It's a good plan. I mean, I don't have all the details worked out, but uh, I'm, I'm also really? the person. Yes. I, uh, no, I don't. I, I'm really the idea man on a lot of these things. And, and yeah. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. I, I also had the idea of the timeshare girlfriend. Um, How does that work, the timeshare girlfriend? Well, that's based on the idea that uh, taking your girlfriend on vacation can be very expensive. Right. 
Um, but if you could work out a deal with a guy who had a girlfriend in the place where you were going, um, that you could trade with him, ah. then that would free up some money while you're there to spend on the dinner that you would have with the timeshare girlfriend. That's how I'm selling it to the ladies, because frankly, they're who's blocking me. They're the, the <laughs> yeah. The guys are okay I'm with most it. Most guys on board for the timeshare girlfriend, but it's the ladies that are really the tough. The hard sell. Why? Yeah. Why don't they listen to you? You have so many great ideas. Something about having sex with a stranger. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> guys are more into that. Um, uh -huh. Although Fran Drescher, notable exception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Night. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of booze and pills involved in those stories. That's all I'm saying. Uh, to get a copy of Jake's CD or to find out where he's performing near you, go to, is, am I saying it correctly? JakeThis.com. 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 Always funny. Jake Johansson. Thank you for Thanks having for doing me. the show. Very nice to have you. We'll take a break. When we come back, Susie Terrell is here.